poppin' YouTube world, your boy Justin here again, aka Adobe One Kenobi, back with another YouTube tutorial. Today we're gonna be touching on the very popular freeze frame effect, which looks a little something like this. Now, before we jump into the tutorial, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Something like 75% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so what the hell are you doing with your life? I post every Thursday, and I know you don't wanna miss it. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so you're gonna wanna open up Premiere Pro and choose the clip you wanna use for this effect. I have this clip of Drake here that I shot at one of his concerts a couple years ago. So now you're gonna wanna go through and find the exact frame that you want to use for the freeze frame effect. So for me, I'm gonna be looking for something that's the most impactful. I think I like this frame because he's got his hands open. It seems like there's a lot going on. So next, you're gonna wanna hold down Alt and drag your clip upwards to the second layer. This is going to just duplicate it. And then with the playhead on the right frame, we're gonna right click and go up to add frame hold. This is basically just gonna create a freeze frame of the entire screen. Now go ahead and delete the first section of that video clip there. And if you notice, the top layer is completely still. It's just a frozen one frame. But if we hide it, the bottom layer is still the same. It's the video fully playing back. So you're gonna wanna select the video on the second layer and then go up to your opacity settings, hit the drop down menu, and then you're gonna wanna click the pen tool, which will allow us to create a mask. So for this part, you basically want to outline all of the subject's body. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because it is a bit of a lengthy process, but try and be accurate and just remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close and you should be able to get a decent effect out of this. Okay, now that we have our subject outlined, you're gonna wanna go down and decrease the feather. I'll probably put mine around two. And now you'll notice if we change the position properties, the top layer, which is the freeze frame, does move and you kind of get this double effect. And you can do anything to this. You can increase the size, you can change the rotation, just play around and see what looks really nice for you. What I like to do usually is duplicate the freeze frame a couple more times and then kind of move each one over while offsetting it by two frames each. So they pop up one after another and sort of like a deck of cards, they're spread out from left to right. Now this whole clip is about tweaking things and finding what looks good for your actual video clip. And you'll notice if I render it here and play it back, the four freeze frames pop up one after another. Now that's looking pretty cool, but I think we can make it look a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take all the individual freeze frames and make them different sizes, different placements, and different rotations. So I kind of get this collage sort of looking effect, which looks really cool. And if I render it and play it back, they all sort of pop up in different places, which I think looks really cool. And finally, I'm just gonna add a strobe burn on top of the four freeze frames. I think I'll do it above the adjustment layer so it is in color, giving a nice contrast to the black and white. And once we're done that, we have something that looks like this. And there you have it, folks, the infamous freeze frame effect. Not too hard, but very effective when used correctly. There's a lot of dope ways you can use this, and this is sort of just scratching the surface, but now you have the tools to bring them to your own music videos and make them your own style and create some really cool effects with it. So please do me a favor, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments below hit that thumbs up button, and finally, consider subscribing. I post every Thursday and a lot more throughout the week. And until next time, peace out.